you know, the death of any child is awful. The, f the fact that it was the murder of a child is, is even more horrific. In the case of Tiali Palmer, this was a child who was in most need. She was a child who needed protecting, who needed uh, to be loved. And in the Thorburn family, that's, that, they seem to be the answer. They seem to provide that security and that care. It's just awful that they were the complete opposite. They fooled their neighbours, they fooled the community, they fooled the foster care system. Um, and Tiali Palmer was a hapless, innocent child in their midst. It was awful. I see them as perpetrators, you know. There's a little 12-year-old girl who's lost her life and they could have come forward that straight away and, and been honest. Tiali Palmer's mother, Cindy, is absolutely traumatised and devastated by the loss of her daughter. And with, within that loss there is a sense of guilt that um, the choices that she made in the past may have placed her daughter there. Um, she, for, for very good reasons, wasn't able to care for Tiali, um, though was desperate to get her back. I still firmly believe that the day that I went to the department asking for help, I made the right decision. It's not what I wanted and it wasn't the outcome any of us wanted. But at the end of the day, that was, I thought, was the safer option. So there's this terrible feeling of some sense of responsibility, um, but also just the overwhelming grief and loss a mother feels for, for her daughter and a lack of understanding how this could happen. And to this day, I've not heard Rick Thorburn say what he did and why he did it. Your conduct throughout all of the offending is made more shocking for the deliberateness of your actions and your willingness to coerce every member of your family to maintain false accounts in an effort to cover up your despicable behaviour. I think the most confronting aspect of this story was that when you look at the Thorburn property, on the surface it is the idyllic place to bring up children. There are horses, there are animals, there's space uh, to play. The other side of that, of course, is that this is a very isolated home that if nobody cares for you in this place, that nobody's looking out for you, nobody loves you, then you are all alone. And, um, and I can't imagine how terrifying that must have been for that little girl uh, the night that she was murdered. There was no one there but the man who was, who was going to hurt her. And yeah, I find that very confronting. The last time that you saw, you saw Tia Palmer alive, when was that? In a bedroom, sitting yeah. on a bed. Okay. I said goodnight to her there. Yeah. And um, yeah, expressed to her that you know, she needed to stay there and, and put, her, put herself to sleep when she was ready, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And where was Rick? I think he was outside the kitchen door, like waiting for me to come back outside. Okay. Was there anyone else in the house? Nobody else in the house, no. And then you left? Mm hmm.